total water supply has remained constant through the ages but water hardly ever stays in one spot for very long all the water that has ever been on the planet still exists today but is constantly on the move it travels over land sea and air in a circular path known as the hydrologic cycle. The hydrologic cycle is powered by the sun. Solar energy heats up bodies of liquid water causing it to evaporate into the air. Plants also contribute here as they release water vapor through their leaves by a process known as transpiration. Through evapotranspiration, or the combined processes of evaporation and transpiration, water enters the atmosphere as vapor. Here vapor can condense as it cools to form cloud. Air currents move the clouds over the land, which can send the water back to Earth's surface as precipitation. Precipitation comes in various forms, such as rain, hail, and snow. When the water falls from the sky, it is ready to go through the cycle all over again. Once back on the ground, water can decide to go one of two ways. it can go straight down into the ground. Or it can go down a slope as surface runoff. Either way, water flows downhill. Nevada's rivers depend upon the water stored in the snow that accumulates each year in the mountain ranges that traverse the state and force air masses to leave their moisture behind as they flow from the west to the east. A little rain falls in the valleys that make up the basin and range provinces of Nevada, but only enough to support the types of plants and animals that are adapted to these arid landscapes. All of the downstream landscapes in Nevada are watered by the few rivers that gather in the mountains and flow to the dry deserts in the valleys to support the plants and animals. The main waterway the city of Reno, Nevada depends on for its municipal and recreational water is the Truckee River. Almost all of the water in the major rivers in Nevada is spoken for. It is allocated to users through Nevada's system of laws. The yeah, federal water master yes. in Reno, Nevada is at the center of the efforts yeah, to manage how water is transferred to users the throughout days, the northern sure part of the state. The water master's yeah, office yeah, keeps track of data collected yeah, year-round yeah, by yeah, federal yeah, and yeah, state yeah, agencies and monitors availability of water throughout the year. They interpret the information provided by federal agencies who are responsible for measuring all aspects of water. So at the Water Master's office, um, every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, we have to monitor the river and reservoir uh, conditions. We have to look at the flow in the rivers, we have to look at the reservoir storage, the reservoir releases, 
and determine um, what those flows are, what the storage levels are, and determine if, if the required um, flows that we need to meet and the storages that we need to meet are being met. Uh, we make any changes on a daily basis to reservoir releases to compensate for um, any, any variations from what we need to be doing. Normally, Chad orders increases and decreases to reservoir outflow over the phone. But today the regular dam tender is on vacation. So Chad is going to the dam station to manually decrease the outflow from Boca Reservoir. Upstream reservoirs in the mountains capture the water from winter storms. These stocks of water sustain the basins below that receive little or no rain during the spring, summer, and fall months. So the whole purpose of the reservoirs is to capture the excess flow in the tributaries which the dams are on um, during the winter and spring months when there's abundance of inflow due to um, snow melt or precipitation events and store that during those times to be released in the summer months when the natural supply diminishes because of the, the um, lack of precipitation and the um, lack of snow melting because it's all gone by, by the summer. So uh, we store it in the, in the winter and spring and release it in the summer and fall um, to meet our minimum flows that we have to meet. We have the upper Truckee River which flows into Lake Tahoe at South Lake um, and then the main Truckee River comes out of Lake Tahoe at Tahoe City, flows down um, through the Truckee River Canyon, through the city of Reno and Sparks, um, on down through Pyramid Lake which is the natural terminus. Um, along the way there are several tributaries that are Impound, that impound water with reservoirs. Uh, Donner Lake, which is actually a natural lake, it has a reservoir on top of it, is on Donner Creek. Uh, Martis Creek um, Reservoir, which is strictly a flood control reservoir from the Army Corps of Engineers, is on Martis Creek. Uh, Prosser Creek has Prosser Creek Reservoir, which is a flood control reservoir, but it's also used for the Tahoe Prosser Exchange and um, fish water. Boca Reservoir, which is strictly used for uh, force and rate storage. Boca Reservoir, located about 27 miles southwest of Reno, has a surface area of about 980 acres. According to Chad, all of that water will be used and the reservoir will be empty by the end of the summer season. On the Little Truckee, River, which is the primary tributary or the largest tributary on the Truckee River system. The water in the Little Truckee River, which does flow between Boca and Stampede Reservoirs, originates from the snowmelt of Mount Lola, the highest point of Nevada County in California. The water ends up in the Stampede Reservoir impoundment. Upstream of that seven miles is Stampede Reservoir, which is flood control, as well as um, stores water for threatened and endangered species in Pyramid Lake. The Stampede Dam and Reservoir are found eight miles above the confluence of the Little Truckee and Truckee Rivers. Much bigger than Boca, Stampede has a surface area of over 3,300 acres at full story. Fishing season is open year-round here including ice fishing. And then upstream of the Stampede Reservoir is the Independence Lake, which is on Independence Creek, um, which dumps into the Little Truckee. Uh, that is a private reservoir owned by the Truckee Meadows Water Authority, as is um, half of Donner Lake. Donner Lake 
that's half owned by Tumwa and half owned by the Truckee Carson Irrigation District. Um, in through the city of Sparks, there's a, uh, the main diversion out of the system um, for the Newlands project is a Derby Dam that diverts Truckee River water over to the Truckee Division of the Newlands project and then on over to the Carson Division um, in, on the Carson River system. Um, that can either be dumped into Lahan Reservoir or sent on down and used um, for irrigation directly in the Newlands project. A lot of work goes into responsibly maintaining the river systems of the city. The river is so vital because its health directly affects the environmental health of not only wildlife, but people as well. According to the Truckee Meadows Water Authority, Reno has some of the best quality water in the nation. Hopefully the city will stay that way. One of the best ways to ensure that happens is if citizens have a working knowledge of their local hydrology and stay educated.